Hi. A good friend of mine recently put me onto the song Good Luck Babe by Chapel Roan. I hadn't heard of it or the artist until my friend brought me this discourse. Chapel Roan is a female singer-songwriter, and her music largely focuses on her relationships with other women, which is always a plus in my book. But in the song Good Luck Babe, she discusses a failed relationship with a woman that ended badly. A lot of the online discussion about this song has been centered around the idea that it is about a lesbian woman experiencing compulsory heterosexuality, and that the tone of the song is the artist, Chapel Roan, essentially telling women that if they relate to this song, then perhaps they're lesbians. Essentially, it seems that much of the online discourse believes this song is instructional and not reflective. After discussing this with my friend, we agreed that it certainly does not appear this way to either of us. For the record, we are both lesbians. The tone of this song really seems to be exasperation, hurt, frustration that the woman she loves has left her and won't acknowledge that the relationship was, in fact, love. In my opinion, it is the classic scenario most women who've dated bisexual women know to be true. It's all fun and wonderful until it starts getting serious, and then it implodes in your face because the bisexual woman can't or won't commit to a woman, can't or won't accept that a relationship with another woman is real enough, and ultimately breaks things off to pursue that which she believes is actually valid, a relationship with a man. So let's look at some of the lyrics. Verse one opens with, it's fine, it's cool. You can say that we are nothing, but you know the truth. Show me a lesbian that's dated a bisexual woman who has not had this exact conversation with her. We play it off like, nah, it's cool, it's all good. They play it off like it was just fun, just experimenting. They lie to themselves about the reality and intensity of the relationship, but they know, they know. Chapel goes on to say, I don't want to call it off, but you don't want to call it love. Again, been there. Committed to a woman, seriously wanting to take the next step in the relationship, whether that's living together or marriage or meeting each other's families or whatever. But the bisexual woman isn't willing. She dangles the promise of a real commitment, but she's never going to deliver. Next, lyrics. You can kiss a hundred boys in bars, shoot another shot, try to stop the feeling. You can say it's just the way you are, making another excuse, another stupid reason. This, in my opinion, is Chapel essentially saying that her ex-girlfriend can do whatever she wants, but it doesn't change that they had something real. Go ahead, kiss a hundred boys, chase after men, make excuses. No matter what she does to try to commit herself to men, both of them know the truth. She ends the chorus of the with the title of the song, Good Luck Babe. The bridge of the song really hits hard. Uh, She says, when you wake up next to him in the middle of the night with your head in your hands, you're nothing more than his wife. And then you think about me all those years ago, you're standing face to face with, I told you so. Isn't, it's like, isn't that just the fate of so many women? Nothing more than his wife. A woman who marries a man loses herself, her name, her identity, her skills, her talents, her passions, her joy. She gives up her name for him and becomes Mrs. John Doe instead. She gives up herself to become wife and her livelihood to become mother. My friend summed this up perfectly by saying that the song is clearly about how Chapel's ex-girlfriend can deny what they had, but someday she's going to be unsatisfied with the life she chose. And that's on her. Good luck, babe. The idea that this song is a song about compet rather than a song about a woman expressing her frustrations at the reality that so many lesbians are left in favor of men is baffling to me. The tone of the song is very LOL, Kate. It's a woman who feels betrayed by another woman leaving her because she has to be serious and find a husband and not flittering about being silly with a woman. So many lesbians know this feeling. I see my own life in this song, honestly. I was with a woman for four years. She was bisexual. The entire four years we were together, I was a secret to her family. We were just good friends. Despite me meeting her family, despite me spaying over at her parents' home during a holiday, all we were were just good friends. Um, And certainly this speaks to my own uh, place of where I was at the time. I was in my mid-20s. 
Um, and I guess, yeah, I loved her so much that I was willing to tolerate that. Now, in my mid-30s, I would never put up with something like that. But that's how it goes for a lot of young lesbians. Um, we broke up in July of that year, and by Christmas Eve, she was engaged to a man. Her family were posting all over social media that they were so happy she finally found love. It crushed me. It devastated me. We had four years of a really beautiful, loving, passionate, intense relationship, and I wanted a future with her. We broke up because she said she wasn't feeling it anymore after four years. And five months later, she was engaged to a man. Lesbians know the experiences laid out in this song. This song is not about comp het. It's about the exasperation, frustration, and heartbreak that comes when your girlfriend leaves you for a man. It's so clear to me that the narrator is sarcastically and flippantly saying, good luck, babe, as a way to mask her pain. A uh, link to the song is in the description here. Have a listen. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Bye.